let us prepare and make some good profits today. Now, market left us very big clues right here. Let's talk about it in today's video. But before that, why are you so surprised by this sell-off? And remember, I talked about this particular handle forming from the inverse cup here. And I told you to pay close attention to 20 day moving average, moving in closer to 446 right here. And just take a look on the daily chart, exactly the handle that started to form with the 20 day moving average basing very close to 446 level right here. And as we expected right here, isn't it? Near to 446 where the handle formed near the 20 day moving average. So please watch this video on Monday for you to have better understanding of this context. But watch it later if you have not, because today early 8.50 a.m. pre-market, we were also looking out. If you understood the algorithms here, you would have understand that we were looking out for that 50-day moving average rejection as well. So that was a possibility here at the top of yellow 445, as well as waiting for that breakout of that yellow channel. Take a look at the breakout of that yellow channel right here, which I will talk a little bit later. But this 50-day moving average as well, Take a look on the one minute chart. If you were prepared for it, you would see the double top right here at this green level 444.77. That's the 50 day moving average, that perfect rejection right there. And so if you were prepared for this, you would have seen that possibility and the understanding of the break of the algorithms right here. Now, still on the 30 minute chart, which I will run through the one minute chart thereafter. Once we translate into the microstructure, we were also looking out for this at 1050. As you understand, the yellow algorithm right here where you see the tapering, very important. And you understood that there will be some form of retracement right here. And we were just waiting out for that retracement. Take a look how beautiful that retracement is on the way down where the five day moving average is at this point here to rebuild the liquidity. Now we were prepared for this 1048 because we understood the change in the tapering of the algorithms right here. It's important to talk about the one minute chart where we understand the microstructure to be taking the trades based on what we saw on the 30 minute chart right here. So understanding this green and this yellow algorithm, you will have to watch yesterday's video. And if you were following through the entire week's analysis and the formation of that inverse handle and trying to be looking out for that head and shoulder pattern, then you will have caught all these moves today. So if this is your first time watching this. I do implore you watch some of the videos before this. After this video, and you can understand how it led up from that inverse cup understanding into that change in that yellow algorithm, understanding how we caught that head and shoulder formation right here. Now for intraday analysis right here. Firstly, you have to see this very important blue algorithm that we managed to catch at 944. Now this turns out to be a very important algorithm for today because take a look at this algorithm later once we identify this blue algorithm. I will show you why is it so important. But before that, you see how the market was building liquidity here with the yellow channel. And so if you were trying to short this, you have to trade a structure demands. The structure showing you some tapering, you cannot be shorting this yet. And so this is what you see here, right? A beautiful inverse head and shoulder of that tapering channel of this red 443 here. This would be that first trade and take a look. It's still in this controlled algorithm that I was mentioning earlier, isn't it? So if you take a look, we were also paying attention to that controlled algorithm right here. That blue algorithm, I will show you why is it so important. So before you short this, you have to be looking out for this. Important, right? So this was the first trade that you could have taken today before we had that double top right here. Now, at this point in time, I talked a little bit about this. I talked about how the 20 day moving average is in the vicinity and we have never traded above it since five day cross below the 20 day moving average. So this is a very important information for today. Take a look, 20 day moving average right here. And since we had that trend down, where the five day moving average started pushing below the 20 day moving average here. We have never 
ever traded above the 20 day moving average. Always strong rejection right here. And today is no exception. And just take a look. I want you to see how beautiful that blue algorithm that we identified earlier on. So firstly, we identified this controlled blue algorithm here. It formed that intraday structure right here. So just a quick recap, right? We identify the controlled algorithm here. Also to look out for that blue algorithm right here. Important, right? And thereafter, you saw that selling continuation structure, and it's always built on that same blue algorithm. Can you see an entry for this beautiful entry, isn't it? So as long as you have identified this blue controlled selling algorithm here, this way down from that double top at the 50 day moving average would be quite straightforward, especially if you were trying to catch the trade here, there were some pullbacks right here. It's the same algorithm here and the same algorithm right here again. And one more push down all the way to orange level here, right? And this is because you understood that controlled algorithm. You know, if you miss this, so be it. The market is always, always giving us clues. And we were looking out for more clues here as I was talking about in the 1048 analysis here. This is a 30 minute chart. We were waiting out for that yellow breakout, right? You had to wait for that pullback here where the five day moving averages. I will be showing you this in the one minute chart shortly. And if you were prepared for this, you would wait out for that one minute chart here. If you take a look as we zoom out from the one minute chart, you will see a very clear structure that started to form, right? We had that push down and we were waiting out for that orange channel, that pullback right here. Now at this point in time, there are a few things you have to pay attention to, right? Firstly, I mentioned to set alerts at 440 orange right here. And I said the market will certainly revisit 440. Now this was at 1150, right? 1150 was when we were at five day moving average. I told you to set alerts at orange 440 because whether the market is going up or going down, they will try to grab some liquidity at the 440 mark right here. And so when the market pushed itself up, you have to look out for that orange algorithm that started forming, right? So we identified that blue algorithm here. Take a look, that blue algorithm here. Uh, this was at 1218, right? Once we tested orange, we were waiting out for structure and you had to be looking out for that orange algorithm that started forming. Look, beautiful orange algorithm that started to form. And all you had to do then was to wait for the breakout of the orange right here. Beautiful, beautiful trade here, right? We had another microstructure that started to form 1252. All you had to do was to prepare for that off that orange. So another beautiful trade all the way to this red 439 where the five day moving average is right here. So a beautiful trade because you understood how to be waiting out for the liquidity to be building and understanding this beautiful, beautiful microstructure based on that orange algorithm here. Now at this point in time, there was another algorithm that started to appear and that's this magenta algorithm right here. I will be talking a little bit more about that magenta algorithm because thereafter it became a very important algorithm to form. Now you notice right from orange here, we started forming the inverse cup back to five day moving average. And all you had to do now was to wait for the handle to start forming. Now what algorithm will form that handle? At one o'clock, we were able to identify it's that beautiful magenta algorithm here, right? Beautiful here, take a look. And we started forming that head and shoulder pattern all the way down. And this was another four point down, four points down here, right? I'm not zooming out enough because if you take a look at that inverse handle, you see that beautiful drop four points down, right? You can't be making this up because there's always profits to be found in the charts here. Now I repeated this again at two o'clock where you had to be waiting out for that handle. Just take a look how beautiful it is off that red 439 here where the five day moving average is. And just take a look for yourself. Beautiful, beautiful structure because you understood and identified that magenta algorithm. So even though you missed, maybe you missed the morning session on this way down here, there's always 
profits to be made in the chart. As long as you understand the macro context on the 30 minute chart here, you were focused, you were patient waiting out for another trade right here based on structure. Now members who did well today, you were patient, right? We had a huge day today, but you were patient waiting out for the structure and allowing the market to present itself. You were looking out for the algorithms and you were taking your trades, leaving some runners. Uh, the home runs are always the runners, right? You were able to trade with structure and sometimes you're able to hold your runners because the structure presented itself, then you would have a fantastic day. Some more members doubled their accounts today. Well done. And this is why you need to be trading with structure. So good work members, let's keep it going. Very importantly, you have to be patient, focused, always find profits in the charts and you see it for yourself. Plenty of money to be made in the charts every day. So now where do we go from here? Now, very quick market recap again of where we are at right now, right? We were talking about that cup, inverse cup here. And then we were talking about that candle that started forming. I was talking about 20 day moving average trending down to about 446. And that's where we have that rejection right here. We were talking about that tapering of that yellow algorithm and thereafter forming possible head and shoulder pattern to retest the support level again, if this is truly the inverse handle that started to form. Now if we zoom back in to where we are at right now here and bring up the algorithms, you will see for yourself how we have started tapering right here with the green algorithms. Remember this green algorithm that we started trading in for several days. Now just for today, you see this green algorithm here and you see how we tapered into that yellow and we needed to see that breakout, right? And you see it, that breakout here. Now you can't unsee it if you are training your eyes to see the algorithms here. Now at this point in time, we had that breakout, right? So you have to see that magenta selling algorithm starting to reappear right here. And remember this magenta algorithm was what brought us out of that trading range of that orange, that beautiful orange controlled selling that we saw earlier. Now we are retesting that orange controlled selling again. And from that cup and inverse handle that started to form, obviously what the bears want to be doing is to build this down to retest and break out of that. That's the purpose of the entire inverse cup and handle to start with, right? It's bears building liquidity to try to push out of the neckline right here. However, you see this is the current bearish structure, right? So the target will most likely be at where the neckline is and understanding tomorrow there is a catalyst, possible catalyst event. Power will be speaking tomorrow. So we will have to be extremely cautious. So and see whether the bears do follow through and start retesting this neckline and breaking out of it. So first things first, once we have this breakout, you need to be preparing for that selling continuation structure right here. Look out for this same particular algorithm and thereafter you want to see that strength in that algorithm. Just like today, do we start retesting and building liquidity on the way down and out of this 432 level right here. Now, if we do not do that, there are two scenarios you have to pay attention to. Firstly is if we do fail at the neckline and the bears have to rebuild more liquidity to push out of it. It may be a next week affair, but we have to look out for that if we do not break out of the neckline and we see some bounce up again for the bears to require to build more liquidity. Secondly, you have to pay attention to where we rejected from that five day moving average right here. Now, if the market wants to regain some strength here, especially if there's great news, then you will see that there is a possible tapering right here. Now, possible taper will be this blue channel that we have been trading in for the past few weeks here. Now, if you see this forming with a blue channel, that blue algorithm starts to build strength here outside of this magenta algorithm, right? You see some tapering that's forming here. Market wants to reclaim five day moving average and you see five day moving average forming that beautiful support level again on the inverse head and shoulder pattern. You will want to see what buying algorithm is it based on? Is it based on this yellow buying algorithm? And if so, then maybe the market wants to build more liquidity here 
or wait for the 20 day moving average to come even closer to have a retest that's also absolutely possible so while we are looking for a possible selling continuation structure the market can always still be building liquidity on the way down sometimes a very structure requires some rebuilding and retracing before it starts heading down that's also absolutely possible and we do have any reclamation of range right here and we start to push back up here it's no surprise because we are still in that orange algorithm so you have to pay attention to for that orange algorithm for that five day moving average especially if we are pushing back up range again and most importantly if you want to see bulls back in control it's this green algorithm that's important that we start retesting levels once again so while we are waiting naturally for that selling continuation structure you are still paying attention to the possible algorithms that are in play and from there you are able to understand the bearish and the bullish behavior and if otherwise whether it's bears building liquidity or the bulls taking back control based on all the very important levels and the algorithms that you see on the charts here so whatever it is whether we're going up or going down just remember your job is to find profits in the charts now what good is it that spy is going up and down when you're not looking out for profits in the charts i don't care if spy is at 440 I care that I take puts here and profits here. You see what I mean? You don't have to be worried about, oh, spies at 436. What's the point if spies at 436? What's important to you is you understand the inverse cup, you see the inverse handle, and you took puts at 439. And thereafter, spy closing at 436 will make sense to you because you took puts at 439 based on structure. This is called finding profits in the chart because you understand the algorithms and looking out for the structure. So otherwise, how does it matter where SPY trades? As long as you're able to identify structure and most importantly, find profits in the charts. Remember, remember that's your objective. It doesn't matter if all the rate candles are here. This is irrelevant to you. What you need to be looking out for is profits in the charts and you have to train your eyes to be looking out for profits like that and not just take a look at red candles and think that you missed out so always remember that thank you very much for watching i'll see you closer to opening bells